Hi, loving friends. This is Chris Parr from Miraculite Healing. You know, it's such a blessing to connect with all you creative, inspired, imaginative, and inventive visionaries. Heartfelt blessings from me to you. We welcome you. We welcome you. So what is the act of the aliens around and on our planet? What is their agenda to the human race? The extraterrestrials have free will and their free will is to assist humanity, planet Earth, for all those who are ready and want what they have to offer with their ascension process. The advanced civilizations around our planet is here now, ready to work with all those who are ready and willing to make a difference and who want to make the unknown known. This would be your free will too, to make the unknown known. No one is forcing you to do what you do. Neither is no one forcing the extraterrestrials to do what they do. They are caring neighbors who do not want to see us destroy ourselves. Again, with our own ignorance and arrogance. You see, we live in a world where technology is worshipped, praised, and sought after. Where our spirituality is on the back burner of humanity's consciousness. This type of consciousness only leads to the destruction of a race, the human race, and planet and planets. Okay, the beings of this world are the consumers, not revolutionists. We live in a world where we are stuck like a broken record in the old ways of this realm, especially around primitive oil and gas engines and civilizations. This type of technology only depletes our resources and pollutes our air not replenishes them. We have had many people who have come forward with inventions to assist humanity. Example like Tesla, but for most not all disappeared or their work disappeared or they stopped doing what they were doing or their office was raided and burned. Why? For pipelines and profits, not people and the planet. All because a few elites want to control humanity's evolution. However, there is a lot of changes happening now. We have more electric cars and we're starting this kind of electric revolution right now and solar, you know, solar panels. We are starting that leap forward now, but there is that resistance that wants to keep the old way. So let's celebrate this new way of change that is happening for us. Not to mention our primitive healthcare system locked into pharmaceutical, brittle pills that sucks your life from you. We have a pharmaceutical company or pharmaceutical companies that creates customers, not cures, that cuts out the pain, not finds the root emotional issue, that calls holistic medicine and people like me primitive when holistic medicine has been around and I've been around since Lemuria. Okay, we live in a world <laughs> where most but not all are unconscious, not awakened, and in turn destroy themselves, destroy the earth, and destroy their planets through atomic energy. We as a people are the ignorant people who have given our power to a certain few to govern over us, who in turn will destroy our planet if we do not claim back our sovereignty. Ignorance and power always destroy. It has been seen over and over and over again. Look at Mars. Look at the belt of debris in our galaxy and around Saturn. This is a destroyed planet. And this is what is happening on our planet Earth right now. A whole pile of ignorant humans who have given a power away. God goddess who gave their power away. Okay? The beings of light, the higher brothers and sisters, are here. Right now. In this planet. Ready and willing to assist humanity. When you're ready, they would love to work with you. To assist humanity. To awaken from their slumber of ignorance and arrogant behavior. And attitude. We welcome you. We welcome you. Your higher brothers and sisters, aliens, your protectors, Syrians, Lydians, humanoid, extraterrestrials, Lyrians, whatever you want to call them, the advanced floating civilizations who are above you now. 
are very interested in what is going on here on planet Earth. These beings of light are an advanced civilization. The higher brothers and sisters, let's call them extraterrestrials, okay? And UFOs are the ones overseeing this planet's ascension and evolution in consciousness. You see, we would be bad neighbors to our star brothers and sisters, especially when you give an ignorant people technology. Technology, well, first, before spirituality, this creates a major problem, a recipe for problems and mass destruction and extinction. It's happened over and over again. When you put an ignorant society with technology, they always, always destroy themselves. Always. It has been seen over and over and over and again. And that almost everyone is technologically driven. Why? This world is under control. You are enslaved. And the world leaders have done whatever they can to destroy the truth. My truth, your truth, everybody's truth. And instead feed you lies and fear. And say you need the next technology to feel alive again. Bullshit. Just look at Mars. This is a destroyed planet. Uninhabitable for a reason. An advancement in technology and dissension in spirituality. All the asteroids around Saturn and the floating debris in your solar system is destroyed planets. For, from what? Ignorance. Just look at all the pyramids around you on Mars, on Earth. What are the, what are the brothers and sisters of the stars trying and attempting to tell us? You see, technology first, before spirituality, this creates a problem, a recipe for problems in mass destruction and extinction. Just look at the Atlantis. Atlanteans played around with technology from bases on the moon and earth, which caused mass freezing, ice fields, flooding, earth tectonic movements, mass extinction, and three big explosions at the fall of Atlantis City. The Atlanteans also were low in their spiritual evolution and higher in their technological advancements. If you look at today, not much has changed. We still have a world thriving for the next technology to feed the hungry ghosts inside that can never be full. And we have a world where the majority, but not all, are disconnected from themselves, their soul, and their higher self. And instead, plugged into the illusions of the matrix, TV, video games, cell phones, phones. Just look around, almost everyone is plugged in to the matrix. Plugged in, disconnected from the land, but not plugged in themselves. People walking around looking at their phones instead of basking in the richness of nature. You have beings who as soon as they wake up, grab their phone instead of prayer, meditation, and stretches the first thing they do you have a world that will line up for miles on black friday to fight with each other right fight with each other over a program your mind tv we live in a world that puts the technology of war ahead of famine and world hunger we have a world caught up in fancy gas cars big mansions houses jets helicopters speed boats movies new gadgets all designed to keep you busy and away from your true and real self. Just look around. Everything is flashing and beaming light waves around you to program you and to enslave you. Technology is your servant and your helper not to be a slave of technology. We the Lemurians tried to warn you in Atlantis, but most never listened. Again, we remind you again. We already know you will not listen to us. This is why we are here. We're here to shift consciousness. Okay? If the empaths are waking up, you know there is a problem with global consciousness. We tried to warn you. The ones in Atlantis, but no one listened. Then, boom! Mass problems. Not this time. We have a different approach this time to the mass sleeping unconscious world. You can reach me at www.miraculite.com or www.miraculitehealing.com for all your healing needs or any other information you want.
want to talk to me about. You have the ability to befriend another time, another space, another being from another dimension. Or in a spaceship, they want to come to you, to be with you, to sit with you, to talk with you, and to work with you. They do. They're here. When you're in fear, guilt, shame, unhealthy anger, self-pity, doubt, and other emotion, they come to you, but your mind won't even permit you to see them. Even though you sense them around you, for that will not be even registering in your brain or your body. Fear and other unhealthy emotions is a door that closes that way, closes that away. Fear of the unknown blocks your ability to see your higher brothers and sisters. Open your senses to safety, to sight, to sounds of safety in your heart, and you will see your higher brothers and sisters in a Merkaba. Okay, your higher brothers and your higher sisters that are in spaceships, that you call them, the only difference between them and you is they have activated greater parts of the receivership of their brain. They're in the same knowingness you are. The only difference with them is they are doing something about it. They have the ability to transform their bodies into whatever they need to suit to whatever. Dimensions, time, space, reality, pool, or whatever radius they are entering into. They have the power to do that, but so do you. You do. Divine One, open your mind to the unlimited thoughts and see with the power of an awakened open mind. Jump into the unknown. For when you do, you open aspects of yourself that were closed from fear and from doubt. The higher brothers and sisters have begun themselves beyond the most seeing limitation that you suffer. They don't suffer that. They do suffer some limitations that are the only difference never fantasies yourself that they are coming here to carry you away to some place or other planets away from this planet birthing anew you have not earned the right to be carried off yet they would try to help you and you would refuse to be helped for you would utter utterly not understand what they are here to do for your limited self would not permit that to occur so you don't have to worry about that. It won't happen. Focus on uncumbering yourself, and then you won't want to leave this planet so soon. You will instead want to assist others, like what I'm doing. I've assisted thousands of people in healing already. The unseen beings enter dimensional beings. Never worry about one of them possessing you, for you are not worth it either. For what you are at the present time, they have long gone have been. To possess, you would mean they would have to become limited again. They don't want that either. I wish to tell you that you are only wanted by you. That once you understand that you can start to do away with those things and instead allow your good to start to allow to occur, so this can become isness to you. Allow your good your gifts, your abilities, your spiritual powers, your wisdom, your knowledge, and your abilities, okay, to come forth. You are more powerful than you may be aware. Really, you may be more powerful than you're aware. You know, you are taken care of by the higher civilizations. They, okay, you know they have been involved with you for eons. You know now that there is a purpose for being here. You know you have been imbued with the complexities of self-destination. I want to send you a dream. And when you least expect it, most often than not, it will come to you in the afternoon. When you doze off, or early in the morning. You're going to awaken to another world. I just want you to have the dream. And it will be more than a dream. There you will meet beings that you will see just as the person you see in front of you throughout your day. You can smell them, touch them, and feel them, but you know it's beyond this earth. I want you to know where you came from and where you're going to. 
And you will better have an idea about this incarnation. Much greater than I can teach it. It is more mentally important you know this is coming or come where you least expect it. So you have the experience and you can be anchored and now from that you can retrieve memories from that experience. And you remember you that you were there before you came here. You will now know it will become familiar. It will become familiar to you again. That this is how the Syrians assist us in retrieving our memories. So be it to that, right? The divine beings already know how because they are watching you. Are they any different than you? No. They're just on a different plane. But they are free. They are free from this entanglement. You see, they know what they are. And you are sort of lost. Our journey is to get you to be like one of the star beings again, okay? So we must work with getting you to understand where you came from and where you're going to go back to. During this experience, to come, much peace will come to you and back into your life. Okay? It's up to you. Now in the end, if the spiritual journey you will get to a point, you're certainly not there yet, unlike the masters who can demonstrate it, you most likely are not, you have not demonstrated to yourself that. You can do something with the mind. You haven't. You haven't put your own self to the test. You haven't got the patience to put yourself to a discipline that you get on and begin and start being developed by it. But I want you to. It is time to develop you, your mind, to be extremely powerful. I did it. All of those in the future did it. All those above, the higher brothers and sisters, are masters of destiny. You cannot be a master of destiny until you're a master of something. You can't. You get a little information, you go back, you discuss it a lot, but does it change you? Are you changed by it? It's time to take the philosophy and challenge yourself to have patience and to take discipline and start working it. It doesn't matter what anyone else thinks about it. Time to rise up and not care about that nonsense. And you need to start a discipline to correct your mind. If you start that, then you will be on a road to self-initiation. It's very simple. The elaborate ones come more elaborate only because you have evolved into them. One discipline across the board will allow you to do the incredible things. Why do you just keep crippling along, tolerating those headaches, those aches, those pains? Why do you just keep going along, fighting your temptations, making them so enormous you just have to do them? Why are you just going along, saying you're here, but not really being powerful? When will you get it into your power? When will you believe me? When will you test yourself to see you can do this? And when will you be inspired to do it? Time is running out. And you should know that. So it is up to you to do that. I have said volumes and moreover, over I teach these disciplines. Take an opportunity where we are together and do something with us. Don't just read it, take notes, write it down. Do something with this. You have heard and how blessed you are and how blessed they are to have you. It's time to really think about your part and these beings part in your life. And instead of them being a compliment or a burden to you, do exactly as I asked to call back from yourself who you are. And in your own time, you will just know one day. The beings of light want to enhance you into knowing that in beyond the journey of greatness, you divine ones have the greatest capacity to do the most ingenious things in these ages. 
if you let the power that is within you to come out of you, no matter what you put in front of you, or the beings of light put in front of you, you will learn it with the greatest of ease. But never forget that the beings of light see this more about you and less about them. What is your destiny? This is what you want to cultivate. For everyone here would love to have parents like the higher brothers and sisters. They sure would. You know you are taken care of by the higher civilizations? You know they have been involved with you for eons? You know now that there is a purpose for being here? You know you have been imbued with the complexities of self-destination? If the empaths are waking up, you know there's a problem with global consciousness. Divine Ones, thank you for listening to me today on this beautiful snowy day. Here I am at Kettle Pond on Kettle Loop Trail, snowing. It's a beautiful day. Thank you for being here today. You know that the extraterrestrials are among us right now. You can speak to them when you have the right mindset. And you've healed yourself. I promise you. They're here. They may be sitting right beside you right now. But you're so full of lower emotions. You just can't see them. Heal yourself. Unencumber yourself. Rise into your soul power. Rise into it. And you will see what I see.